Hello everyone, my name is Jitendra Bhavna. I am excited to start a series on Query Tech AI. My first video will talk on what is a Query Tech AI, what are the capabilities provided by Query Tech AI, and then we will see one of the demonstration where how we can generate a MuleSoft flow automatically using Query Tech AI. So Query Tech AI is the platform which can be used to generate a MuleSoft code which can be also used to generate a M unit test cases. It can be also used to generate a documentation for your MuleSoft flows. It also help you to generate a sequence diagram for your flows. It also provide a agent which help you uh, in doing a migration. When I say migration, so it, it allow you to migrate from non MuleSoft integration to the MuleSoft integration. So it can take a non MuleSoft integration as an input and can generate a MuleSoft code for you. So there are few platform which is supported by QuerryTech AI, which can be migrated into the MuleSoft code, right? So what is the first thing you need to do? So like if you want to explore a QuerryTech AI, you can click on sign up for free. So once you click on sign up for free, right? So where you have to just provide your email ID for me, it's already I am already logged in. I already created the account. So, so in your case, once you click on sign up for free, so you will, you have to provide the uh, valid email ID and you have to generate a password for you. Once you provide an email ID and once you create a password, you will get a six digit verification code, your email ID to validate your email. Okay. So once you have done that, right. So then like uh, you can log in into your, you know, Curate Curate AI platform where you will see a lot of agents. Okay, so let me walk you through each and every agent basically. Okay, so so we have coding agent in coding agent like we have a repository coder, data weave generator, API spec generator. As name suggests, like if you want to generate a mule soft flow, data weave or M units, you can use the repository coder. For generating a data weave transformation, you can use the data weave generator. For generating the open API spec RAML, you can use the API spec generator. Then we have a testing agent. So if you want to generate a uh, M unit test or if you want to generate a sample test data, you can use the testing agents. Then you have a documentation agent. A documentation agent is very useful in generating the document diagrams or sequence diagram, right? So it, it also like can generate a document for the multiple APIs, right? Then we also have a mapping table generated. So it can look into the your uh, data view and it can generate it can create a table what is the source what is the destination what is the logic between them so such kind of documentation can be generated by your query tech ea then we have a coding insight so we have a single repo code lens multi repo code lens and code review so this is basically like review this is basically used to review your code uh, to uh, to look to look into your course like if there are any problem or it is not uh, defined with the best practices or guardrails so it will be going to taken care by this code coding insight you know now as agent so as i as it already mentioned generator provide in-depth analysis and answer across the single or multiple code repository then we have a various migration agent so we have a migration generator migration repo code then we have a billable mule flow so there are multiple uh, agent available so uh, so each and every agent have its own responsibility which we have discussed just now now, so now, now what I will going to do, I want to write uh, some kind of flow. I want to generate some mules of project basically, right? So the first important thing, whenever you want to generate any project, right? So you need to create a prompt. The prompt should contain the clear instruction, what you want to do, what agent needs to do, right? So I have created one prompt. So what I want to do, I have a, a CSV file located at, located at some SFTP location. It contain a millions of record, right? So my job needs to be run a, at 1 a.m. every day, 1 a.m. EST every day, and it has to be synced with the Salesforce basically, right? In case of any error, uh, error occur or anything occur, I don't want my flow to stop. If one of the record fail or two record fail, I don't want my flow to get stopped, right? It should continue. And at the end, so whatever record got failed, it should generate the email by saying this, these are the records got failed basically, right? And I want to also ensure that it do it does a proper logging at each and every step. It does a proper error handling, right? So for that, I have to write a detailed prompt, okay, which can tell an agent what the agent needs to do. 
so here i will go and what i have done i will tell you so i will just read out this prompt so so create a schedule mules of batch integration that process millions of customer record from sftp csv file this is my request insert them as a salesforce account object so i have to insert into salesforce job should run at 1 am est every day make sure to use a proper block size and mac current currency to ensure the faster processing use correct st streaming mechanism insert max of 200 records to salesforce at a time so that's what i mentioned then detail so how my input file will look like so csv file on sftp i will use sftp word here so instead of disk i will just put it into sftp okay so here i already mentioned sftp so csv file on sftp fields so i have like this kind of csv file which have a customer name industry revenue number of employees address and the rating now what is the processing requirement so schedule the mules of flow to run every x minutes we already uh, or i can just say run at uh, 1 am est then also you can say read and parse csv file from a local or i can just say from the sftp log must be done in the json format at each important steps map each csv row to salesforce account object and insert it into the salesforce first name and last name are mandatory fields from the customer like a customer name if missing collect those records separately do not insert for record failing the salesforce insertion log detail error and collect them for reporting continue processing remaining record despite error at the end of the batch send two consolidated mail list of record that failed salesforce insert insertion with error detail list of record skip due to missing mandatory field formatted in the html right i want in the html like i want to tell what are the record missed okay so there are two mail will generated so one which fail with a validation and ones like which doesn't get inserted into which pass the validation but doesn't got inserted into the salesforce okay use proper error handling try catch scope to avoid stopping uh, the flow on the failures add meaningful logging at a flow start per record processing error and the summary and what i want a complete mule swap batch flow with data we skip that implement the above, uh, implements the above requirement let me copy this and i go back to query tech ai so here like uh, you have various agent right so you have report uh, repository coder data we generator api spec generator right so for generating the code i will use this repository coder right i will just say start my own here you can see like with repository you can just provide your github repository right so before i move into that i want to show you something right so you, if you go to the settings right okay in settings if you go to the workspace you can define what java version you need so i will just say 17 maven version 3.9 and what is the mule version so i will just keep it latest so this is where like in the in your workspace you can tell whatever code generated what java version needed what maven version what is the mule version right those kind of information you can see here it's a repository you can link your own github repository bitbucket gitlab azure devops self hosted or any local repository you have it okay so let me go back to my query tech ai i will just use a repository co coder okay i will just say start my own and here i currently i haven't configured any repository you can just say with repository or up, you can directly if you have existing code and if you want to improve that particular code right you can just upload that code in the zip format and you can just provide the instruction what you need to do with but in my case like i want to generate completely new either you can just say with repository you can just tell at which repository you need to code generate code but in my case i just want to say no repository and whatever prompt i've created i will just give it right simple if you want to generate m unit with that just say enable m unit test if you want to deploy app you can do that deploy app but for now i haven't configured all these things so i will just keep it simple so i am just providing this uh, uh, prompt which i read few minutes back right and i am just selecting so no repository so what it will do once the once the task will complete it right it will give me a, a downloadable you can download the zip file that you can import your anypoint studio right so i will just say submit 
okay here you can see this repository coder is in progress okay this may take at least five to six minutes or maybe seven minutes right so i will just uh, pause my video till the job get completed hello hi here you can see the, my code has been generated a uh, mule shop code where you have a log 4j2.xml like you have pom.xml you can see like you no know, so it it will automatically add all the dependency which we required for this project for example so we have a mule clean plug plugin mule maven plugin right so all this right all these things we needed then it added all the sftp connector uh, dependency it also added the salesforce connector dependency email connector dependency because we have a requirement whenever any error uh, whenever any record get failed right while adding to the salesforce object so it should generate the it should accumulate all those record and just send the email right so those kind of thing or even if any validation is failing right so for that also we need to generate the email then it also added the dependency of mule secure configuration all the required dependency it will automatically identify and it will add it okay so now you have uh, all this uh, yaml file so basically here you can define your like this is nothing it's a properties file where you can define your sftp host detail salesforce uh, uh, username and urls like you know email like you know and here i i already specify like you have to de decide some kind of block size and max concurrency right it automatically decide that block size and the max concurrency we can we may need it for you know uh, batch processing then i already told like you need to run the job at 1 am est it already me already took the time zone and it already uh, identify the right crone expression for that right then let's scroll down and let's see more it also generated the secure config maybe all the password related to sftp salesforce okay you may also instruct uh, like you know in the prompt where you can say i want to use the salesforce jwt oauth or salesforce oauth username password so depending on that it will generate a connection string for you okay so then you can scroll down you can just say email password in the encrypted format then it also generates some kind of sample data uh, you know uh, that can come through via sftp all this file so now what you can do you have option to download this so i can just say download a generated code right now we will not have any difference so here if you see here it will show the original code and whatever changes has been made it will show it here but in my case we are completely generating the new code right we are not saying like change or modify or enhance the existing code we are completely generating the new code so i just said download a generated code so it will download the zip so what i will do okay so once it download the zip it should be in the download folder i will simply extract this okay here you see generated and the original code right so we don't have any original code we have just generated from scratch it's completely new code so what i will do i will go to any point studio i will import that code i will just say file import and i will just say any point studio project from file system next i will select that folder i can go back to download curate dev and i can just say generated select folder and i can just say finish okay so i can just perform update that's fine okay and let me open this project so what has been generated so let's start with uh, pom.xml we have already seen there so here it all it added all the dependency all the plugins you know whatever we needed it automatically added everything for you right so you can you can see everything okay let me see batch then i will go here i will go through each and every flow basically okay so before that let's uh, here you can see all the dependency then you have artifact mule artifact dot json everything is there right let open mule source resource so it also use some kind of dwl it automatically externalize all the dwl like you know csv to account mapping so it auto automatically identify the fields uh, what are the fields name in the account object in the salesforce it automatically map with the csv field then error record report dwl then part right so then also i mentioned we need to generate the html 
email right in the html format so you can see it, it started it automatically write the html format right so that automatically taken care now we have a config file so one config is basically uh, it's a normal conf uh, property file then we have a secure right then we have a global.xml where it will define all the connections and everything automatically right you can see email collects connections like salesforce connection now we will go to a file called customer integration okay so let's get start how it is happening here here it start you no know, daily said daily scheduler so it may be reading from the config file all this uh, cron expression and time zone then as i mentioned you do the proper login in the json format it is doing it right you can see all this detail then set processing start time initialize the failed record so there is a two requirement so if any validation failed right so that uh, that should be the part of initialize failed record in case of if, like any record or or maybe like any record got skipped or like you know it get failed so it will be part of this particular array then clear uh, failed record store clear skip record store so it, it using the object store here right to store the record because i don't want to send the individual mail for each and every record failed or each and every record skipped right i don't want to do that i have to accumulate and i have to send a single mail for failed and single mail for the skip record then process uh, sftp file so we have a flow reference there so it will read from sftp okay so let's go there yeah yeah so here it start listing the file right the first sftp operation it use what are the files available right so it lists that file and it will check whether file is found or not very the code has been written very perfectly here right so here you can see like you know it will check then like you know set the current file name then it will read the csv file from the sftp location it does all validations and everything then log batch input it added the logger in the json format which i mentioned store original records in original records and everything and here you can see like it automatically picked up batch job back this record steps everything right now it it reading the block size which i mentioned right block size and everything then i can go to try catch it using try catches and everything okay so then it it, it just checking uh, name validation it just check for the first name and last name all those thing right so right and then if everything is good right it it will just do the batch aggregation i gave one more requirement you just have to like make the blocks batch size of 200 or something like that right so it it does that for you basically okay then it in case of any error or any fail it will just store in the object store right so now finally it said result move file see i haven't mentioned move file to archive right but it automatically add that operation also which is good right then then send completion email so we can go back to the completion email okay here like yeah now it uh, retrieve the field record set field record retrieve skip record right set skip record prepare prepare a email data right so now we already shown the dwl which is externalized it we generate the html format mail so you can see it here it just uh, then it finally it send the email via sftp location right sftp connector yeah so that is what uh, uh, it's generate a complete code within the like 15 to 20 minutes right then i can go back to my and i like the code in case if if you feel like something has been wrong so just provide the feedback and it will try to generate a new code for you for now i think it looks good i can simply say approved okay so once say approve it will mark this as a completed this particular task as a completed okay so so here you can see the task reviewed by me you know you can review you can provide the feedback to the agent like your code agent like this code has been not generated correctly so does those kind of things you can provide so you can see how quickly it uh, generate that much of the code right and with proper like uh, externalize of dwl even i haven't mentioned right and then or like it also generates some kind of test data everything right yeah yeah so it mark as a completed yeah so like i i will suggest everyone like you can just uh, go to creotech ai and you you try it right so we have a uh, trial version available so you can just try that create ai basically right okay